wonderfully warm Friday morning, Thursday morning in Tokyo at Shinjuku. I've got some extra time. <laughs> oh yes, as I was saying, I have some extra time before I go to work at noon. And there's a another bookstore quite near here in this fabulous building. It has a very small English section. I have one hole left in my Vlogmas series and I don't really have the time to do anything that's overly involved. So I'm going to take you to the bookstore. to uh, English Bookside. It's all separate. Ego no hong. Ego no hong. small English section and they don't typically have a lot of new releases but still well, I think they've moved things around since I was last year so like anyone or else I'm just lost My, my kind of books. <clears throat> but that's not what I'm here for. Here we go. I think it's actually a little bit bigger than it used to be. Fabulous. Okay, I'm just going to talk about stuff that jumps out at me. reminds me that I still haven't read the sequel, whatever it's called. What a coincidence, two books you couldn't pay me to read, side by side. say the most overrated novel of the last qu first quarter of the 21st century boys and girls come on Sean find something positive to say <laughs> okay then skip Ishiguro <laughs> skip that I'm looking forward to read 
Whoops. Skip that. Looking forward to reading that. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Barf. Nobody's talking about this anymore. I really loved it. I have yet to read any Jumpa Lahiri, and I have at least two on my shelf. What a horrifically frustrating book. One of my proudest bales. There is a classic book that I don't recognize. Oh, it's Chinese. It's uh, Chinese. That's why. <clears throat> what the, oh, this is mystery. Oh, oh, it is. It's a very small section. Look, that was it for contemporary literature. <laughs> cares about the rest of this stuff. Uh, they have a Japanese literature section separately. Looking forward to Buddy reading this one in January with Richard of Richard Reads. I got his channel name back in my head. This was really awful boring. Sorry, Adam, I couldn't finish that one. They don't have the translation, but these are abridged, I think. But I'm doing a buddy read of the unabridged edition with Britta. Coming up next year. This has to be the most boring novel from any country ever written. <laughs> My God, it was awful. Um, now there, if you're gonna read anything from Japan, if that's what you need to read. I have this, I haven't read it yet. Oh, this looks interesting. A Long Defeat, Cultural Trauma, Memory, and Identity in Japan by Akiko Hashimoto. I'm going to track that one down someday and read it. That's in my wheelhouse, as we say. I'll get to this one eventually. No hurry. And the rest, oh no, I was going to say the rest is all Murakami, but that's not true. The Complicated Love for this one. Hated that. Yeah, I don't really get along very well with Japanese literature, do I? <laughs> so it would seem. By that selection. All right, time to go to work. Hey, well, I'm not in Shinjuku anymore. I'm in Ebis. This is where I teach. And I came a different way to the place where I'm going to teach than I have for many years. And there's two arty stores and I have to show you. This will be the end of the video. Well, look at these places, holy smokes. I freaking love this art. Love it. Here's the artist. And next door is a, uh, oh, I'm gonna blank on the name of these dolls, these Japanese dolls. Look at, I guess they're just. The... 
I don't know all the names for these things. I used to know the name for those dolls. It's gone out of my head. I'll put it te in textually, but uh, Japanese tops, leatherworks. I don't know what these things are called. This little shop, little hole in the wall. This is the display section, and then the I think he's making them back there. It's amazing. Ah, there's a little dose of Japanese culture for the day. All right, bye bye.